All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, or actually just in this video, it's not a tutorial, but anyway, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the Alpha Loom template for my pretzel picture design, and it is a picture banner type design here, and so here's the template. And since this is a picture design, how you would go about making this is you would start here in column one, you would look at all these bands or all these squares, place the color band that would go with that colored square, and then you'd move on to column two and work your way through the entire template all the way up until column eleven, close off the design, and it's just like making any ordinary Alpha loom design, you need to place the bands and add a connector band and loom and place more bands and it's yeah. If since this is a picture design, I like to start and close off the design a little differently than a bracelet so that it's a little more clean. And I do this by using single chains. And it's not really my example I have here is not exactly a good example of that because as you can see I just have a single connector band which you can do that as well but what I like to do is use connector oh my I like to use regular bands in a single chain and use that as the cap bands instead of seven individual cap bands and then close the design off with a single chain here on the end and a slip knot and it makes it a lot much more clean uh, here's an example I have so this is my cute cat design and as you can see here at the beginning I have a single chain and the single chain is acting as the cat bands and as you can see it keeps the this end a little more together and then over here we have a single chain closing it off and slip knot. So if you're not sure how to do that I'll have a link in the description to my pictures and banners tutorial and you can use that to figure out the beginning and ending for your design for your picture okay so now for the colors so go ahead and move into the colors so you need three different color groups and four groups of bands total now one group is actually optional one color group and I'll get to that once I actually get there but you'll need one color for the background, which is the orange squares. <coughs> you'll need another color for the actual pretzel, which is these tannish brownish squares. And then these X's here on the template, those are the optional bands, and those are the salt rubber bands. And I usually use white. So, as you can see here in the actual example here I have the little salt rubber bands and as you can see they're triple cap bands and that's because I used regular rubber bands and I recommend using regular bands for the salt bands and regular bands for the design in general because it'll make the picture bigger and <coughs> all that stuff since it isn't going to be a bracelet going around your wrist and Oh my, where was I going? Yeah, these bands are optional, so if you don't want to put little salt rubber bands, they're not actually salt, of course, then you could just have a pretzel without without the salt bands, and it would still be fine. So when you look at this template, you would just ignore all the X's. And then the fourth group here, it's not a color group because you don't really see it in the design, and these are the connector bands and they hold all seven rows of the design together to make sure that you get a pretzel picture and not seven single chains. That should be the pretzel picture. Alright, in the description I'll also have a link to a template on my Alpha Loom website that you can download and if you have a printer, print out if you would rather have a template with you but if you don't I'm gonna just go ahead and just hold the template right here you can use the pause button and just use the template on the screen 
Alright, taking it off the screen now. And, well, now you should have your little pretzel picture. So, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video, other than thanks for watching, and bye!